Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Ryan Alopolo from Mentor High School Boys Basketball. How's it going? It's going good, man. How are you? Doing well. Um, so uh, just kind of talk about how the season's kind of going so far. Oh uh, yeah, so right now we're uh, seven and three. Uh, we are tied in first place in the conference uh, with Medina and Brunswick. Um, it's a whole new team, I think. Uh, we got um, you got myself, and then you got two juniors, and then you got a sophomore, and then another sophomore too. Um, the one sophomore who's our point guard, uh, he's a transfer from Ireland, so you know he's figuring some things out too. And uh, we have a we have a we have a young team, so a lot of people are still figuring things out, um, getting you know used to the program and the whole mentality our coaches you know harp on us about and uh, um, you know, yeah, there's been some struggles, um, but I think you know practices we really love, like we really love our practices. So um, we practices I, I would say are harder than games sometimes, and um, we just we go hard at it every day and uh, try to get the best of ourselves, and we are really locked in and focused. Yeah. So just kind of talk about how that how how this team's kind of done so far. How do you think the team's kind of doing so far? Um, so far, yeah, we got, we got seven wins, but our three losses, two of those were really, we really should have won those games. That's, um, we got a, our defense from a defensive end standpoint, um, we, we have a lot to work on. Um, we, you know, yeah, I said, we got some new guys in the program, so still figuring out some spots, but, um, just, you know, the help side and stuff like that and just what, like spot rotation. Still getting familiar with those. Um, and then the offensive end, just moving and cutting and sharing the ball and not holding it and stuff like that. But um, a big part, I think, is, too, is effort. You know, sometimes I, I think that guys don't give full effort and, you know, aren't fully committed to the program and are 100 percent, you know, wanting to get better every single day. So I think, you know, from that, um, I would just say, so far, I think we've done pretty well, but there's a lot more to work on, and we can be—I'd say we can be up here, but right now we're about like right here. Okay. Um, just talk about what you've kind of worked on um, this off season to kind of get better at your game. Oh uh, yeah, so a big uh, focal point for my off season, uh, my coach wanted me to be able to handle the ball better, handle pressure. Um, I know I'm a two, but he also would like me to be a point guard too, because you never know, like at the next level, what you, I know. I'll, I can end up being so he he really focused on ball handling, um, obviously shooting, because on with that and just getting me you know, on my body ready for the next level, athleticism, strength, um, balance, just you know also take you know take those bumps on defense and be able to stay in front of your guy, um, and then always you know stay in condition too because you know you got summer leagues too and I was also playing AAU, so you know it's just constantly staying in the best shape I can be because uh, like my coach says you're not an athlete unless you're in Great physical condition year round. Yeah. Uh, what's it like playing with your brother? Oh, I absolutely love it. I mean, growing up at first, we would like, you know, play one on one. We would argue and stuff. So, I mean, I was like, man, this, this might not go well. But I'd say for the past two years and playing more with each other on a team, um, it's gone great. I love it. I, it's a, it's a really, it's a big blessing. Um, it, it is sometimes it is weird, you know, it's like, Man, my brother's on the team, you know, it's just like kind of funny. And uh, we're both at this level. And we both, I'm actually, we're blessed that I'm blessed that I have a brother who actually loves the game just as much as I do. And I get to compete against him and with him every single day. And um, it's, it's actually it's really an honor to play with him. Yeah. Um, can you believe that you're a senior? I can't believe it. I, I, high school, it's flown by in a blink of an eye. And it's, it does feel weird being a senior that nobody's older than you. So it's kind of like, you know, the, I wouldn't say pressure's on you, but it's like, where, like when things go wrong, you know, people look, your teammates look at you uh, when, you know, as a, as a mentor and stuff like that. So, you know, you just got to be on your A game and just, you know, teach them because they're looking up to you. So. Yeah. Um, what do you feel like you need to get better at right now? Uh, me, I'd say ball handling and handling pressure. And also, creating off the, off the drive to get to the rim. 
how do you keep how do you um how do you stay calm when under like losses and stuff like how do you um, avoid getting like angry um yeah i mean obviously like you know right after the loss you take it to hard you take, you take it hard but i think you know like at the end of the day it's like you just gotta keep going like you can't think of it and like it can't you can't let that bog you down and it's actually i mean i, I like what like, losses are great because you know you learn from them and you, you know it's always it's a game of improvement so you always gotta look look to get better and um yeah but i feel like this year in particular i've learned to handle the losses better and just keep using them as like a motivational standpoint and just keep building on top of them okay so um when you how do you mentally prepare for a game um so for me i like to like way before the game i like to take my focus away from the game so i don't get too riled up and too like overly focused on it because I used to do that, and I used to get, like, you know, the nerves and everything like that and overthink and stuff like that. So I take my mind away from the game. Um, I, you know, crack some jokes with teammates, just goof off a little bit, but then, like, you know, an hour or two before the game, that's when you really lock in, and it's go time. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So going into this, um, this year, your senior year, do you – have you kind of felt like this is this is it? I need to, I need to do everything I can. I'm just gonna leave it all out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, because as when you were, you know, junior, senior, so freshman year, you're like, all right, you know, you got the next year, or you got the next year, so you can like maybe not give it all, your all or anything like that. But yeah, this is you know, it's the last go at it, last dance. So you know, every single practice, game, everything, possession, just uh, giving 100 percent, and because you know. Before you know, I mean, it started January. Season halfway over, so before you know it, it's, it's going to be over. And I don't want to be be at the end of the season, um, and just regret anything that I haven't done. So, yeah, I definitely you know give every hundred percent every single day. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, lastly, do you um do you have any plans for college? Yeah. Um, right now I'm getting recruited by uh D three schools. A lot of D three schools. And then um one D one D two school, but yeah, I mean I plan to go to college and you know keep playing the game I love. And right now I don't know where exactly I'm going. Um, let's see after the season, you know, if any other schools reach out or anything like that. But yeah, right now I'm still undecided. Okay. All right, let's get to know you a little bit. How about that? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, what is uh, Ryan, what's Ryan's go to place for food? Oh, I would say BJ's Brewhouse and Manor go go to. Um, what's your favorite TV or streaming show uh, that you're really into right now? Um, I obviously I love Friends. I haven't watched it in a while, but I do love that. Um, what else I would say? Big Stranger Things fan, like that series. Uh, I'm a big Marvel fan though, so I'll be constantly rewatching Marvel movies and stuff like that. Uh, just, you know, sometimes staying in the loop, too, because I know they got some new shows coming out. So, yeah, I would say those those shows. Okay, I'm going to go to something that you asked me before we started recording. Uh, who you got tonight at time of recording? It's the uh, College Football Championship, Georgia or TCU? Uh, I got Georgia. I'm not a big fan of Georgia at all, so I hope TCU wins. But I do think Georgia will pull off with the W. Uh, who wins the Super Bowl? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Man, I haven't paid a lot of attention to the NFL this year, but I would say I would say Cowboys. Uh, I, I'm a big I'm a big Tom Brady fan though, so I would I would like to say them, but I don't think this year I don't think they got it. Yeah, sounds good. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. a favorite sports team to root for. Ooh. Um, I, I was, I, I mean, obviously the Cavs, I would say, but outside of them, um, oh, well, I'm a big college fan. I take college over professional sports every single day, but I like, uh, Auburn, Auburn Tigers. So I would say, I would say them. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, give it like favorite vacation spot. Um, that'd be Hilton Head, South Carolina. Okay. Been there a couple of times. Um, do you have like a hidden talent? Like, do you like something that many people like don't know about? Um, 
Let me think. I don't know. I'm a pretty simple guy. I do like the same thing everyone else does sometimes outside of sports, but yeah, I don't. I don't think I got any. All right. What's something people don't know about you? Um. Maybe an interesting fact about you. Um, I would say outside of basketball, like the people I don't hang around outside of basketball, uh, I would say I'm kind of like a psychic. Like I gotta have my I got to have like a, a workout done or like a lifting done before I do anything else. Like I get just like a me- mentality thing. Cause I feel like I, it's hard to like not function, but you know, just like keep going with your day. If I haven't done the certain thing that I want, which is the, the model mentality or something. Yeah. It's like, it's just got to happen before everything else happens. I mean, I know school, so I don't do it before school, but like uh, are you, on a day off. Yeah. Okay. So are, okay. Let me ask you this. Are you superstitious? I am. Yep. Okay. Like, uh, okay. Do you have any basketball superstitions? Um, I mean, we, before every single game day, like on game days, like right before, uh, we leave to go to the gym. We, uh, my dad makes us, uh, he makes us pizza and he also makes us steak. So we have that before every single game day. I would say that's, that's one. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, well, Ryan, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and uh, best of luck the rest of the season. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.